Hello, this is Kimber Domke, Mindful Food and Fitness Coach, and today I'm coming to you with these two friends to represent the higher carbohydrate diet and the higher fat diet. Um, why do I bring these today? Because last week there was a pretty cool article released by JAMA and featured in the New York Times which had some interesting results. Some expected, some perhaps not. Anyways, what seemed obvious to me was there was ah, people who cut back on sugar, added sugar, refined grains like pasta, like bagels, uh, and highly processed foods. That could be anything from meat, sausage, uh, sausages to cheese, etc. cetera, um, while concentrating on eating plenty of vegetables and they did not worry about counting calories. They did not worry about limiting portion sizes. These folks lost a lot of weight over the course of a year. So it might seem kind of obvious, but the interesting part is that we don't have to obsess so much about the numbers and the portions, but just what I love to focus on, if you can tune into your own hunger and fullness and let that be the guide of what you're eating, in a healthy way, you know, reducing the crazy sugar and the crazy processed crap, then you have a chance to get the body that you love, that you deserve. All right, now the other interesting part about this study was it said there was no significant difference between low fat and low carb diets. Ugh, darn, so the jury's out once again. And the hypothesized predisposing factors of genotype and insulin secretion did not predict which diet was more successful for which person. So basically, the science reaffirms the obvious. We wanna cut out crappy sugar, we wanna cut out the highly processed stuff, but after that, it's really up to us to tune into more of our senses and more of what we enjoy and will find sustainable for weight loss and just having a healthy, amazing, functional body. So. I love these two things. Yes, I eat them both. Um, but what I try to cut out for sure is excessive amounts of processed crap. All right, that's it for today. Just wanted to share that article with you. I will link below to the New York Times article. And if you're interested in weight loss while still feeling full, while still feeling strong, take a moment and send me a direct message. Let me know what your challenges are and let's talk. Let's see how I can help. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. This has been Kimber, Mindful Food and Fitness Coach. Enjoy some of these less processed items. Take care.